my daddy is going to a few super blood hockey today for you ladies and gentlemen. If you've ever played games like ice hockey on the NES or Blaze of Steel, then this is a homage to those games of old, and my word, what a job this does. From the instant you pick this up and start a match, you get hooked. I started an exhibition match against James, and we played match after match for four hours straight into the night, bringing back old times when we used to stay up all night into the early morning with only coffee and toast to keep us going. The days when we had no responsibilities and gaming took up most of our spare time. No change there then. I digress. Why do I love this little gem? Well, first of all, it's how it controls. The skaters feel just right. If you've ever skated, you know you just can't slow down and turn the other way really quickly. It's the way the players also glide across the ice. It's represented here very well. Ice hockey players have a nice weight to them. There's a simple control method, a button to pass, which if you hold down, adjusts the power, and the same with the shot. But the longer you hold, the more time it will give an opposing player to challenge you. Then you have the button to check or tackle, as we know it here in the UK in football. Gliding across the ice using the analogue is a real pleasure and a quick tap of the shoulder button cycles through players so you can either control them to defend and position or to receive a pass and score. Check too much though and you can end up in a fight with the other team. This is a simple button mash affair and the team that takes out the other players first will have to play with a player less for a period of time. This is a violent game and blood spews out from players all over the place from a puck knocking out a player to fights breaking out on ice. Thankfully for the squeamish amongst you, you can turn it down if you like. For me, I was turning it up. You can pick different player types of which there are three to choose from to fill your team of five players minus the goaltender which consists of playmakers, a sniper and a big bulky dude which you'd not want to meet in a dark alley. This has a multiplayer mode where you can play four players locally, each controlling one player if you like or two versus two. James and I tried to play on the, the same team which was a lot of fun. You can also play online in a worldwide tournament and lose and you get executed. There is also a tournament mode where you can play against the AI, but best for me was franchise mode, which goes and adds that simulation, which I love. You're the coach of the team and control things like diet, exercise, team selection, amount of income you can attain through winning controllable match days and selling players. It's set in a murky dystopian future where you have to sell a kidney just to afford the entry fee for your team. A nice blend of comedy and violence there. You have to choose from 100 inmates to get a team together, all sorts of shady characters to choose from with different skill levels, and my man Milk was going to have the team built around him. You really get attached to the team, and players you lose hour and upon hour in this mode. I ended up getting attached to these players. My man Milk was the main man, absolutely no doubt, and for some reason the bromance between he and I grew to where he was unsellable. Problem is, you can lose players to death in this mode or injury. Sometimes a smashed up testicle can lose you a player for an amount of time, which had me wincing at the thought of it. You can have up to 16 players to look after. When they're all walking around the complex, you get to know all their names, the ones most important to your team, and it's strange how a mode like this can get you so invested but I certainly was. I often ended up playing 4v1 though, such was the violence that ensued against opposing teams, and they'd lose most of their players at times, which seemed a tad unfair, although I wasn't complaining. Players can get brain damage, which you can manage by chucking them in the shower. If you want them to bulk up, then you'll need to spend money on larger diets for them. There's all sorts of little micromanagement parts to the game which are going on, and I loved every bit of it. If you get bored of that, there's even a bunch of challenges thrown in, like a 12v12 12 mega rumble or a few of you versus more players my only slight criticism is the goaltenders are absolute beasts and seem to save everything from the beginning you throw at them but after a while you learn the techniques to get past them and then so it became a little bit easier when you complete the game you get some extra options like manually being able to control the goaltender which is welcome there are also different difficulty levels to choose but the higher difficulties almost seemed crazy hard but of course each to their own I also wish there was a replay of the goals you scored, which would have been a really nice feature. In terms of audio, there's a full selection of chip tunes composed by Sean Daly here, and you either love these types of tracks or you don't. Of course, it's retro, 
and some may be tiring of it but others may not either way they're decent enough and I love the little sound effects my only wish is that there was some commentary when you scored visuals well they're pretty basic and they do the job really well and clear even though it's 8-bit the most important aspect of this game at the end of the day is certainly the gameplay for me and here it nails it you have blood splatter the sprites look decent enough you can certainly tell the difference between the different player types the puck moves around as it should and the animations are cool too there's no issues for performance either in docked or in handheld mode for me now in terms of value in the usa this game will be $14.99 and in the uk £13.49 there's a lot of modes and content to keep people happy so i honestly had no complaints and if i paid this money I'd certainly be satisfied. This is one which is going to bring a huge amount of fun for many. I got plenty of value out of it in just a couple of days, such were the amount of hours we put in. And franchise mode will keep many occupied for hours on end and it's highly addictive. My verdict then, there's been a lot of love put into this game. Many little details have been taken care of, which many players are going to appreciate. If you're into sports and especially sports games, then you're going to find something to enjoy here. Sure, the violence may not be everybody's cup of tea, but you can turn the red stuff down. The gameplay is so satisfying and addictive and well for $14.99 if you like your retro then you're going to love this whether it's a quick three minute game against the AI friends or hours put into those other modes. A very solid 8 out of 10 from me on this one. If you enjoyed this review then why not consider subscribing if you're a new watcher here and I'll put a selection of videos so you can check those out if you want. For all of you existing ladies and gentlemen thank you for your continued support it really does mean a lot to us. If you enjoyed this video hit that like button really appreciate that and of course leave us a comment down below is this your type of game are you going to be purchasing this one we know that april has been super busy and may is not going to get any easier there's going to be plenty more games coming out so make sure you do subscribe so you're alerted when our videos go out and we can tell you about all that nintendo goodness coming your way my name is juan romero from switch watch i'll see you again on the next one take care